MSNBC. All right, everybody, stay with me because coming up, uh, keeping you and your home safe for the holidays, the simple little things uh, that you may not be doing to protect you and your loved ones. So much. If you are planning to hit the road for the holidays, don't go until you hear from our next guest. AAA says over 92 million people are about to hop on planes, trains, and into automobiles, traveling at least 50 miles from home. Now, security should be at the top of your list before going because it's not just the season for giving, apparently, it's also the season for taking. According to the FBI, nearly 400,000 home burglaries take place from November through December, but you don't have to be a victim, folks. Uh, Robert Siciliano is a security consultant from ADT.com, and he's joining me now live from Boston to share certain tips on how to keep all of our homes safe, even when we are not there. Robert, good to have you with us. So this is a really busy time of year uh, for someone like yourself. So is it just because uh, people let their guards down more during the holidays, or there are people out there that are really looking to take take advantage and be more aggressive it's a little bit of both I would say that definitely the criminal is a little more aggressive this time of the year you know like you said uh, millions of traveling they're leaving they're going to friends and families they're uh, you know taking their vehicles they're shopping uh, their houses are dark and mail might be piling up and newspapers might be piling up and the bad guy you know they're shopping just like you and I are shopping except they're shopping inside of your home uh, grabbing your gifts grabbing your plasma TV grabbing your jewelry and uh, making for a miserable uh, Grinch of a Christmas. All right, so let's get to some of these important tips. Uh, you are a big proponent of a window film, and, and that's used to deter burglars. Explain why. So security is all about layers of protection. The more layers you put in place, the more safe and secure you and your family are going to be. Uh, Shatterproof glass or, or window film uh, that you put over your windows, kind of like window tint in your car, uh, does a, a really good job of preventing the bad guy from breaking your windows. Uh, it's, a, it's a film that you can get at different hardware supplies online, and it, it helps to prevent them from breaking that window and crawling through. And if you put it on all of your hey, Robert, lower level Robert, windows. Ex Robert, yeah. excuse me, just for one second. We we have some breaking news that I need to go to, so stand by for it. I want to take you straight to Washington, D.C. Senate Foreign Relations I'll Committee John Kerry is addressing uh, the, the folks now right after who, uh, getting the vote for the START Treaty. Uh, decided that uh, this was the moment to act for the national security interests of our country, uh, that this issue did not belong in our politics, but rather in our minds uh, in terms of how it protects uh, the nation. I think we've listened to the advice of uh, Admiral Mullen, Secretary Gates, our national security uh, personnel, uh, the nuclear security uh, agency, uh, and uh, you know all of those folks who really have the day-to-day -day expertise on these kinds of issues. Uh, we will now go to a series of amendments. Uh, we're going to try and do as many amendments as is possible, and hopefully uh, tomorrow morning, uh, or at the latest uh, early tomorrow afternoon, uh, we would have uh, a vote on final passage of the START Treaty. Uh, when we had to jump into that one, we were talking to Robert Siciliano from ADT.com. Robert, I appreciate you being fluid with me on this, uh, but we sure. were talking about the nation's security. We're now going to get back into our own personal security. We were talking about window film, but uh, let's explain to everybody out there uh, also some of the tactics they can take if they are going to be traveling that are, are the simple things. And I think one of the big ones are light dimmers and light timers, excuse me, uh, for your house. How can you fake out the burglar to make them think that you really are there? So the idea is to give the home that lived-in look, and if you have timers on exterior and interior lighting, it certainly gives the bad guy the idea that you're home, that you're mm -hmm. in and around the house. Uh, keeping your TV on, different things like that uh, will p potentially prevent them from coming into your home. And also, uh, and this one I love, trying to get your neighbor, neighbors to shovel your walk. That is only if you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, so, if you're at home, they're so probably it, not going to be so helpful. But if you're not there, it makes it look like you are. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you're if you're gone for any period of time, you want to have them even park their car in your driveway, shovel a walkway, get your mail, get your newspapers. Again, to give it that lived-in look. The bad guy often they don't want to invade your home and get violent with, whereas they would burgle your home when you're not there. Uh, and um, it's easy to do it if you're not there, obviously. But if you're uh, if it has the lived-in look, you're in much better shape. Yeah, and I love the uh, tip about post-holiday tearing up all the boxes. You don't want them to know what you got inside your home anymore. Uh, Robert Siciliano from ADT.com. Thanks for, uh, again, rolling with the punches with me here. I appreciate your time today. Thank you.